We're gonna line up right out there on the far side of that building. Field trips are the best days in school. This is your last chance to get a poncho, so if you want one, please grab one. Rain or shine, a day in the field. Everybody ready? Can teach youngsters much about the outdoors. So what do you see behind you? A river, who said river? Correct, 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 correct. Does anybody know what river this is? It's the Wilson River. Jesse Kane is a biologist and teacher at the newly reopened Tillamook Forest Center. Is a river a type of habitat? Yeah, it's an aquatic habitat, right? Because a habitat is somewhere where animals live, get their food and make their homes. He wants these youngsters from Banks Elementary School to understand the life in a river. Let's go ahead and hold that up for me. Who knows what this creature is? Shout it out. A fish. A fish. More importantly, a salmon. Exactly. And salmon live all up and down this river. A lot of people, when they think aquatic health or salmon, don't think forests. But forests are actually a really, really important factor in salmon and watershed health. What we do on the land dramatically affects the water. And good morning, class. Does anybody know what I might have brought with me? Rainbow trout? Rainbow trout eggs, exactly. The bank students were well prepared for their field trip because they raised fish in their classroom last winter. When I bring them around, you will see little spots in those. Do you have any idea what the little black spots might be that are gonna be in those? Ice. <laughs> Perfect. You got that exactly right. The project is called Eggs to Fry, and Mr. Leroy Schultz delivered 500 trout eggs, courtesy of the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, to the second graders in Mrs. McComey's classroom. Can you see them? All right. Anything surprise you when you saw those eggs for the first time? Anything That they were transparent, I thought they would be rainbow because that's, that's what they are, yeah. Rainbow trout. The eggs became fry over six weeks and provided a launching point for science and math and even art projects like this giant rainbow trout life cycle. We learned the life cycle of the rainbow trout starting with On release day, the students traveled to Scoggins Creek to let the baby fish go free. They're so cute. We're gonna open the bag. You can open yours too. Oh my gosh, this is such a big event. Oh, there they go. Bye, little fishies. I say goodbye. Was it sad or was, were you happy about it? I was happy that they were getting released into the wild where they belong. We absolutely love trout and so she came home and was very excited to tell us that we had all these little eggs in, in a fish tank and she was going to raise fish babies. <laughs> <laughs> How they start out so tiny as little eggs and just great for them to be able to experience a bit of nature. You see the bird holes and all those woodpecker markings? Back on the field trip, Jesse Kane says the kids, the fish, and the forest merge into lasting memories and lessons about the Oregon outdoors. I really want the kids to know what a habitat is. And it's in second grade, you might not have ever heard the word habitat. So if I can impart that it's a place where animals live, a place where they eat and find safety and shelter, I did my job. At the Tillamook Forest Center with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.